please. You have to tell me why it's so important for it to say hello. Hollywood, they made computer scary things. See how this reminds you of a friendly face? That the disc slot is a goofy grin. It's warm and it's playful and it needs to say hello. It needs to say hello because it can. Steve's had this skill to create these things that weren't just useful, they weren't just successful as commodities. People have relationships with them. He talks in the first act about, you know, can't you see how it has a friendly face with a, a goofy grin? And it worked. People love their devices. They love the experience of opening up the box. I, mean, I really never viewed him as a creative entity before working on the movie. And that to me was actually probably the biggest revelation was that he really was an artist in a lot of ways. The fact that he was able to put his own personality and his own shortcomings and wonderful attributes into this technology in the same way a writer or an actor is able to funnel themselves into their work, he was able to do that with products. It was a true marriage of function and art. A creative genius, one, a pioneer, one of the great figures in certainly American, maybe world history. Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, Steve Jobs, he's in that sentence. He was constantly in love with that next idea and that next thing and the people that he dragged with him, but nothing was going to interfere with getting to that next thing. That's pretty powerful stuff. There are many people like that. He's shaped the way that we live today and, you know, none of that None of that was by chance. I mean, he was an extraordinarily brilliant man. I think it's really important that these huge figures are answerable. You know, it's not comfortable making films about them, especially lots of people are still alive about them. And, and you know, it's a very challenging portrait. It's uncompromising both the performance and the depiction of him, the writing. It shows many, many sides of him, which is wonderful. He did actually say to people, you know, who are you? Tell me about yourself. What do you do? What is it? Okay, show me. Let's see. He wanted the best out of people. I have real appreciation for that side of him, as dogged as it might have been and as difficult as it might have been for some people to work with that level of scrutiny. He wanted the best out of people, for sure. Steve, computers aren't painting. Yes, they are, and what I want is end-to-end -end control. I'm begging you to manage expectations. Out Everyone here. is waiting for the Mac. What are people going to do with it? It's an abstract. They're going to do that? The Apple II team has my affection, but I'm not loving up a seven-year-old product at the Mac launch. You can't write code. You're not an engineer. You can't put a hammer to a nail. What do you do? You're gonna end me, aren't you? I'm gonna sit center court and watch you do it yourself. It's not binary. You can be decent and gifted at the same time. What you make isn't supposed to be the best part of you when you're a father. That's what's supposed to be the best part of you. Good luck. I feel it's crucial that we make stories, films, documentaries, any kind of expression about these people, because these people changed our world. I mean, it's an easy phrase to use, and you go make a dent in the universe, there's wonderful phrases, but it's true. It's actually true. They've turned around the, and transformed completely the most precious thing we do, which is how we communicate with each other as people and how we transfer information between ourselves. And that is power. If I trade in my bank account for a dollar and every time somebody told me something was impossible, I come out ahead. I think he was full of contradictions. I think he was an amazing negotiator. I think he had a, 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 a very sharp eye for talent. But I think it's the visionary, really, that sort of stands out first and foremost for me, the fact that he had such a clear vision when so many other people couldn't see it. He had a great respect for these engineers. The fact that he had them all sign inside on the Mac, you know, that they were artists. And that he said in any other age, they would be sort of deemed as artists. And he kind of brought them into this sort of artistic realm. Well, it's one thing to, to be somebody who changes the world. I don't think money was a driving force for him. I think that he knew he was going to change the world. I feel a lot of love for him. You're the only one who sees the world the same way I do. No one sees the world the same way you do. We will know soon enough if you were Leonardo da Vinci or just think you are. The board believes you're no longer necessary to this company. I sat in a garage and invented the future because artists lead and hacks ask for a show of hands. The Mac team gave an award every year to the person who could stand up to you. Two most significant events of the 20th century. The Allies win the war and this. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Jobs. <laughs>